What's up guys and girls, welcome to another video. My name is Ryan Roots and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to turn $69 into $490 in just three days. So if you watch our videos, you would have seen the one where I went to the thrift store recently and I bought five items and I showed you guys how to list those items, how we list those items on eBay, how much we list them for, how I take pictures, et cetera, et cetera. I walked you through how we list stuff on eBay. Well, guess what? Those items that I listed in that video have already sold. They sold in three days. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how much they sold for and what our profit margins look like on those five items. By the way, if you're brand new to this channel, this is something that we do often. Um, this channel is all about buying stuff and selling stuff online, whether it's eBay or Poshmark or Depop or Instagram, however we're selling stuff, this channel is all about buying and selling and making money online. So if you're interested in stuff like this, if you like this video, make sure to please hit the thumbs up button on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. We have like 600 or so videos on our YouTube channel already, but we're really focused for the rest of 2020 on making great content for you all. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's take a look at each one of these five items that I bought and break down how much they sold for. So item number one was a Ben Roethlisberger jersey. It was a Shine Reebok jersey in great condition. It was a size 3XL. And I ended up listing it for quite a high price. Um, I went on the higher end just to see what would happen and it ended up selling for full price. So I listed it for $149.97 and it ended up selling for $149.97. It did sell through promotion promoted listing. So you'll notice that on some of these items, I promoted them and it did end up selling through that promoted listings feature. So this particular item was promoted at 8%, which was an additional $12 on top of the eBay and PayPal fees. So the promotion cost us $12, eBay and PayPal fees cost us an additional $19.50. And then to ship this item out, it cost us $7.50. We did free shipping on it. We paid for shipping. It was an additional $7.50 to ship it. And then what did we pay for the item? So our cost of goods. Our cost of goods on this item was only $8. Got it from a Goodwill thrift store, paid $8 for it, listed it for $150, and it sold. The next item that I found that same day at the thrift store was a pair of Jordan Illusion shoes. This pair actually ended up selling on a best offer. So I believe I had them listed for $80. Uh, they sold for 70. So we took a best offer on them for $70. They also sold through their promoted listing feature on eBay for 6%. So another $4.20 in fees. It cost us $9.50 to ship them out. And the eBay and PayPal fees were an additional $9. And then lastly, our cost of goods. So we paid $10 for this pair of Jordans from that same Goodwill, the Goodwill thrift store, $10 cost of goods, and they sold for 70. Next item up, I took a gamble on this one. Um, it was a brand new in the box Dell, like computer monitor. Uh, I paid up for it, that's why I took a gamble. I paid $30 for it at a thrift store. That's, that's fairly expensive, but I was confident that it would sell for a decent purchase price. And it did, it ended up selling for $150. Now this was a big item, so it cost a bit more money to ship, but we got lucky where the location that we were shipping to was fairly close to us. So it actually only cost us $13 to ship that item out. We shipped it in the original box, padded it nice, make sure that it was secure and shipped it out for $13. So really quick guys and girls, because I know I'm gonna get the question about shipping. How do we ship stuff for so cheap? So to make things easy, pair of shoes and a t-shirt. So the t-shirt, super simple. I would literally just fold it up, make it look nice, grab one of our thank you cards. We put thank you cards in every eBay order so that we get uh, more positive feedback. It's very simple, just tells them a little bit more about us. It does have a coupon code on the back as well for the next purchase. And it asks for positive feedback. It's a way to increase your feedback very quickly on eBay. So thank you card, t-shirt, blue poly mailer. We get these on eBay, t-shirt and thank you notes into the bag, get the weight, and if it's under 16 ounces, if it's under a pound, it's gonna go first class mail, and typically that runs us between like 450 to five bucks to ship. Shoes, if they're not gonna get damaged in shipment, flat rate envelope, USPS flat rate envelope, you can just shove them into the envelope and ship them out that way. If that doesn't work, padded flat rate envelope. Shove them in there, Ship them out that way. Padded flat rate is around $7.52 when you buy the label on eBay. If you don't wanna do it that way, Grab a USPS shoe box, make the box. You can wrap them in paper if you want to, or just throw them in again with your thank you note and ship it out. Weigh the box, 
put the dimensions in of the outside of the box and ship it out. Typically to ship in a box like this for a pair of shoes like this costs us under $10. And then lastly, if you have a heavier item, regular brown box, we try to recycle every box that we get, uh, put the item in the regular brown box, weigh it, and you can ship it out FedEx or UPS ground. But FedEx Smart Post is typically the best way to ship larger, heavier items. All right, back to the video. Our eBay and our PayPal fees, so 10% eBay, 3% PayPal, that came out to $19.50. And this item did not sell through promoted listings. So it was promoted, but it just sold through regular eBay search. So we did not pay any extra through eBay's promoted fees. So two more items. The next one was a pair of overalls, Carhartt brand overalls. They were brand new with tags from the thrift store. I only paid $13 for them. And they had, again, all the original price tags and everything like that on them. This was actually the first item out of the five that I got from the thrift store. This was the first item that sold. And we got a fairly decent price for them. We got $79.97 for them. Again, they were promoted. So we paid an additional 9% in promotion fees. So $7.20 to promote them. Our shipping fee on them, we rolled them up and put them in a padded flight rate envelope, so it only cost us $7.50 to ship them. Our eBay and PayPal fees on this item was $10.40. And again, our cost of goods, $13. So it made a, made a pretty healthy profit on that because it sold for almost 80 bucks. And last but not least, this was also the last item to sell, um, a pair of women's keen shoes. Great brand to look out for. Keen sells really well for us. And this particular pair was in great condition. I took nice, clean, white background pictures of them and they sold decently fast. Last one to sell, but it still only took three days for them to sell. They did sell for best offer. So I believe we listed them for $48 and they sold for $40 even. They were promoted, but at a lower fee. So 3.7%. So it cost us an additional $1.80 for promotion fees. I'm sorry, 3.7%, $1.48 to promote that item. By the way, guys, the way that the promoted listing works on eBay is you only pay that set amount when the item sells. So, you know, you can set it at 4%, but you don't pay that up front. You know what I mean? So I'm not paying that $1.50 up front to eBay. I only pay it when it sells and I only pay it if it sells through the promoted listings. And promoted listings are just like sponsored listings that show up in eBay's ad. So it'll jump you up to the, to the top of the search. You don't have to use it. As you can see, stuff will still sell if you don't promote it. But we try to make it a habit to kind of promote items that we feel need to be promoted. And most of these items we felt did need the promotion. And we weren't into them for too much money. So like the cost of goods on this pair of Keens, we only paid eight bucks for them and we listed them for $48. So to pay a little bit extra in promoted fees, didn't really matter to us. So $1.48 in promoted listing fees, it costs us $9 to ship that pair of shoes out. And then eBay and PayPal fees, $5.20. Okay, so I know that that was a lot of math really fast, guys, but I wanted to break it down systematically for you guys and show you everything so you knew exactly what the item sold for and exactly what we paid in fees. But if you break it all down, so all five items added up together, our total cost of goods for all five items was $69. Total fees, so promotion fees, shipping fees, eBay, PayPal fees, total fees for all five items was $134. Total sales, so the total amount of money that all five items brought in, so total gross sales without any fees or anything taken out, that amount was $490. So $490 minus all those fees leaves us with a gross profit of $287. Now the reason why it's a gross profit and not a net profit at that point is because one, taxes haven't been taken out. We have to pay taxes on any profit that we make. There's also other things like we're sitting in a warehouse. We have a space to run. We have employees to pay. We have electric. We have bills, right? So everything else comes out of that amount. And then at the end, the very bottom line, that would be your net profit. So $287, if it ended up costing us another $100 to run the business and get everything out there, then we would have a net profit of $187. But either way, it's, it's a healthy amount. Paid $69 on stuff at a thrift store. Everything sold three days later, $69 into $490 gross and made a gross profit of $287. It's not a bad three days, especially if it's something that you do part-time. So I wanted to show this video. I wanted to break down the numbers because a lot of people aren't good about looking at their numbers and you should be. You should know your margins. You should know your profit numbers, especially as you expand into your business. You should really pay attention to those numbers so that it doesn't come out to bite you in the butt. But yeah, I wanted to make this video to kind of break everything down for you guys so you know how a functional thrifting to eBay 
business kind of runs. Hopefully this helped you out. Maybe it gave you that little boost that you need to go out and find stuff yourself and get it listed. And if you have stuff sitting at home waiting to be listed, take your pictures and get it up on eBay or wherever you wanna list. Doesn't have to be eBay, but get it up online and make your money. So there you go, guys and girls. Thanks again. I'm Ryan Roots. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Peace out, guys. Bye.